Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day is about remembering tragedy, but also how to recover from it. That was the theme at Alabama's Challenge Town Hall, which was held today to talk about veteran suicide prevention. ABC 3340's Valerie Bell was at the River Chase Galleria for that discussion and tells us more about the importance of these resources. Ken Davis has served our country more than 30 years before becoming the commissioner for the Alabama Department of Veteran Affairs. Davis knows just how important it is to have this town hall. It's a sad topic and it may seem strange during the Christmas season talking about it because this is supposed to be a season of joy and family, but for some it's also a time where depression kicks in. On average, every 2.4 days in Alabama, a veteran takes his or her own life. That's tragic. It's far too high. An alarming statistic that the general manager at the River Chase Galleria knows firsthand. Mike White was a Navy SEAL for 11 years. I've lost a couple teammates in the year 2022 uh, this year, so it's uh, it's something again near and dear to me and it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a pandemic that needs to be addressed. Alabama does have a very high rate of veteran suicides. We know some of the reasons for that, but now we're about solving that problem in Alabama and that's what this is event is a part of. If you or a veteran you know is showing signs of being suicidal, you can call the Veterans Crisis Line by dialing 988. I have a t-shirt. It's a uh, it's say uh, be sure to check on your friends and uh, that's really what all of our veterans need to know is that they're not alone and that they shouldn't suffer in silence. In Hoover, Valerie Bell, ABC 3340 News. And we have more information about today's town hall as well as the resources available for veterans listed for you on our website abc3340.com.